Okay, Addis Maximus here. Uh, the immediately previous video I reviewed this Dremel 8220, which is like the first of the real usable cordless Dremels with that actually has enough power and decent build quality. Anyway, Bosch bought Dremel 30 years ago, 1993. Dremel uses the 8 point, or excuse me, 12 volt max, 10.8 volt batteries. Since it's owned by Bosch, it's a essentially a Bosch battery, but for just, uh, you know, just terrible reasons, reasons that chat my height. I mean, all the terminals, everything is the same. The Bosch batteries are, you know, polycarbonate shell instead of nylon shell in the Dremel. But for some darn reason, um, the Dremel batteries have a different, basically, it's a different lower portion here. This core portion of the battery is exactly the same as the Bosch. And I showed in the previous video, the Dremel battery, not only does it fit in the Bosch chargers, the Bosch chargers will charge the Dremel battery. I have a brand new Bosch battery. I bought it for a tool that the first time I used, it was a used tool. Didn't have a had a didn't have a uh, battery charger. Had a basically a dead battery. So I bought a Bosch battery and charger and the tool, the Bosch tool and iDriver burned up the first time I used it. Ended up getting this Dremel. These are two both two amp hour batteries. So I thought, oh, I could use the Bosch battery in the Dremel since it's, you know, a Bosch brand, but no, it doesn't, it works. What I'm, this video is, is modifying the lower portion of this Bosch battery so it'll fit in the darn Dremel. And other things, vice versa. The Dremel battery won't quite fit in the Bosch because the Bosch has this little taper here, but if you just do a little cutting on the Dremel battery, it will work. What's even funnier is, like, even the clips are in the same position. It's just... A different molding on the lower portion of the battery. So I think I'm going to do my cutting with the, it appears that this bottom snaps onto this casing. Um, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time, but I don't want to do any prying. I don't want to do anything that might dent or damage the lithium ion cells because that can be dangerous. So I'm going to attempt to, even the clips, I mean these cores are the same. It's If I could get the foot off the Dremel, I could swap it with this Bosch core. Um, so I'm going to spend a moment to see if I can't remove the bottom of this battery to make it a little easier to work on. If I can't, then I won't be able to, and I'm just going to hand saw it. As far as blades, I decided I'm going to use this Bosch Clean for Wood, real thin but super sharp blade, but I'm going to do it by hand. Obviously, it would be really bad to try to do that with a pair of pliers, most pliers, but I'm going to use some vice grips, not just any vice grips, but these BMC parallel jaw vice grips. These are going to be perfect because they're going to end up holding this blade nice and tight. Whoop, need to get that just a little bit tighter here. And since these are BMC parallel jaw pliers, the nice thing is, is this blade, it's parallel jaws. So the blade is being held in the entire area, not like on the tip with normal vice grips. So the blade isn't going to want to move back and forth. I just got to get it just the right tightness. Or plenty tight, I should say. There we go. And that ought to work. So now the blade is tight in these pliers. That will hold the blade. And that way I can just pretty carefully go along here and trim the bottom edge of this lip off really low. Just like on the Dremel here. I'll have to also trim the back of the battery. And then, of course, this lower portion here where it tapers down, it's square on the Dremel. And so I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of nipping right along there. And uh, I'll end up just using some little cutters like these to do that. So the answer is yes. Using four small flathead screwdrivers, there are some impressively deep snaps. Th three of them. Plus glue, keeping the bottom on. But I was able to snap the bottom off without actually destroying the cells. And so now let's just prove the point here. Just to show that it is true. The core of the batteries are the same. They just have different bottoms on them. 
So anyway, that's going to make it a whole lot easier to cut apart this bottom portion in order to, and no, I looked around, they don't sell uh, these bottom clips, otherwise I just buy a Dremel bottom clip and snap it onto this. Anyway, I'll get to uh, cutting this apart now. Here's the progress so far. I forgot to press record when I was actually doing this action, but anyway, I had to saw this down. There's the webbing right here is just a little bit bigger. Anyway, I just sawed a gap and then cut it out and then just use these cutters to trim that. Sawed the gap here and then use that to trim. Trim little pieces there, trim pieces there. Anyway, I thought I'm home free, but it's not quite snapping in there yet. And I was closely looking at the Dremel battery and the height of the clips is the same but all I was noticing is there's just a little bit more clearance a little bit bigger of a gap on the Dremel battery than there is here and yes even the clip positions everything else is correct while I was learning about using that high carbon steel blade is that this has fiberglass in it fiberglass doles uh, blades super quick super easy so I had to switch over to a high-speed steel uh, metal cutting blade in order to make the difference. So now, knowing that, what I'm going to do, this is actually a Dremel carbide tile bit. I'm going to use that just to lightly, because there isn't much material there, I'm just going to use this to lightly carve around through here in order to give it the necessary clearance. Well, here we go, the moment of truth. Some real careful carving so I didn't uh, cut through all the way through those tabs. And uh, this really is the moment of truth. So now it clips in there. So now the true moment of truth. <sighs> Certainly plenty dusty. It was wise using that carbide bit. Ow! Jeez corner of that got my finger all right so there's our Dremel battery and here is our <laughs> bat Bosch bat 414 really had to butcher this thing So, it doesn't fit the nicest. We can see some gaps there. I cut it a little too short there. I cut the bottom just a little bit too much. But, nonetheless, the battery stays in there. Clips in. Dremel battery. Bosch battery. So, it sure would have been nice if, uh, if Dremel made this, because all this could have just been dealt with. Now that I know how to take them apart, you just got to jam something right in between there and there, and then you can tilt the, the battery out and the front catch comes out. Same with the, you know, with the Bosch. That's all I had to do was just get right in there. Actually, I think I got it. No, I got in from this side. You had to just get right in there and pry out. This, I had to jam a screwdriver to get a gap and another one on the back side to get enough spacing. Then I was able to pry the core of the battery out. And uh, it would have been nice just to be able to buy one of these bases and slap it on this Bosch battery. Instead of having to go through all this work. Anyway. Got that neat little thing. And the whole mission was successful. Once again, Dremel battery. And since I didn't have any other Bosch tools, it was worth the effort because now I have a tool that I can use this battery with. And to boot, I have a charger. So I only paid five bucks for this Dremel. They actually are advertising this as the uh, high performance <coughs> cordless Dremel, and it really is a decent performance. And uh, even though it's definitely had some wear for five bucks. I think I end up paying $25 on uh, eBay for this Bosch battery and the charger. So for a total of 30 bucks, you know, I don't feel so bad. This is an absolutely brand new battery with one charge on it. 
as well as a working battery that came with it. And now I'm able to charge them. And kind of the fun of collecting tools is these types of situations where uh, I was almost at a loss, but instead for a little bit of effort and a lucky find, I now get to use my Bosch battery. You can even still see I did, didn't quite cut that off. Still can see that's two amp hour. And a little bit of a gap isn't so bad because the whole core of the battery actually stabilizes it. So just for a little bit of an ugly battery, actually the connectors are pretty solid on that. That's actually surprising. This battery must be low. He's in the same position. Anyway, it's the end of the video. Enough blabbing about it. And that's the effort that you have to go through. But you can indeed modify the base of a Bosch 12 volt max battery to fit into the Dremel 8220. You just have to cut this off, cut this off, and then you have to do just a bit of carving. And because it's fiberglass reinforced polycarbonate, it will dull bits. I wisely use this carbide uh, tile bit, and that was exactly what was needed to get to uh, just do the nice contouring there so that these things would, so that this battery would latch in there nicely. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.